Let me know when you all ready. You Red lights good? on. Okay, Action. good. All right, uh, it's great to be back out here again. Uh, day three, first day in, in pads, I'll be at half pads. Um, you know, guys are excited. It's starting to look more like football. Uh, we're excited about, you know, improving upon what we did last year. Every year is a new year. And so, that, you know, getting an opportunity to define the 2019 team uh, is exciting. I, I like our leadership, uh, you know, especially the guys coming back. Um, I think Jalen Hawk, Jay Hawks and, uh, uh, you know, Evan Weaver are doing a great job right now leading our guys. And we'll find out what this personality is in a hurry. So without any questions. Have you ever been in a situation where you've brought back so much returning starting talent? Um, yeah, a few different times where, where you've had some guys in the system for a while. I knew going into last year we were going to make big strides because of so many guys we had back, and I, I anticipate us to take another step this year. So uh, it's going to be exciting for us, but again, there's no givens. Our guys know what the standard is, and now they've got to go out and prove it every day. Everybody else is going through spring practice. At some point in the middle of spring practice, the newness will wear off, and now they got to persevere and push through. You know, will this team do it? We'll find out. You guys made strides again last year and maybe disguising some stuff mm -hmm. and, and takeaways. What do you kind of see as maybe the next step for, for this group now? Well, you know, we're going we're gonna to add some wrinkles this year. Um, but because we have so many veteran guys, I think, you know, one of the onuses this spring is going to be on, on continuing to uh, add to our disguise stuff. And, you know, when you have guys that understand what we're trying to do in our, in our basic defense, you're not just teaching them the base fundamentals of taking on a block. Uh, you can you can get a little bit more creative, so that'll be part of our, our emphasis this spring, and you know hopefully it, it won't be too much on our guys. I, I'm sure it won't be, but you know the the key thing is not getting so much they're thinking and not reacting because right now we're playing pretty fast because we're reacting. Over the past couple of days, the defense has talked about how they want to be even better next season. Kind of where do you see that showing up, or, or how do you guys improve on what you guys did last season? Well, I, I think you know it shows up with, with how our guys work. Uh, they came back in January. Nobody was walking around, you know, like there were anything. It's like, hey, it's time to go to work again. They realized our success last year was directly attributable to how much hard work they put in. Uh, you know, we've got guys that are coming in and watching video on their own. We got guys who are doing extra stuff in the weight room. That's what it takes. And guys understanding that, you know, the minimum's not, the, you know, it's not good enough. It's, they've got to go do the extra. You guys had some. Uh shift in uh, the D-line coaching mm -hmm. room with uh, Coach Browning. What can you tell us about him? Uh, I'll tell you, I'm really excited about, about Andrew taking over the room. Uh, before that, really missed Tony. Uh, tremendous person, really good football coach, had a, had, a, had a great rapport with our players, and so we wish him the best. But, you know, along the way, you know, it was really nice having Andrew as a quality control, was, was working with our defensive guys last year, did a great job in analyzing uh, a lot of the protection stuff. So our guys have been around him and, and, and know what he's about. Uh, to get him, you know, a chance to be in charge of the room, I think is really exciting for him. And, you know, getting a chance to talk football with him. He's a very knowledgeable coach for a young guy. Yeah, he's had some great experience already. Uh, was a really good football player back in Boise State days. And I think, you know, he brings all of that to our, to our room. And, you know, he's a lot younger than me, so he's, he's, he's a good foil, uh, you know, to bring a different energy in the room. You had uh, a lot of opportunities this, this offseason. What was it about this program, this, this situation that made you want to come back here? And, and well, this place is special. You know, Coach Wilcox has done a great job of, of building a program here that's going to be sustainable. And, we, you know, my wife and I love living here and, and being part of this program. So uh, we're excited, you know. When you have success, it's the nature of the business. People people come call. Uh, but, but we're excited about the you know the trajectory we're on, and we think we can continue to make this thing go even further. Um, last year, we thought of J.K. as kind of the voice of the defense quite a bit. You mentioned Jalen and Evan there. Are you starting to see some guys maybe step into those those leadership roles? Yeah, I think those two guys in particular are, are uh, guys. You know, Evan's never been short on wanting to express his opinion. Uh, but, but when a guy puts the production, you know, behind it, you know, he, he, he demands the guys to listen. So uh, I, I think both those guys have their, their unique styles, but both those guys um, have shown on the field that they can do it. And then off the field, they're doing a great job in their work. So it, it's not just talking to those guys, you know, they, they walk the walk.
you have a couple of kids uh, who came in early to work with, and uh, Coin and uh, Oren. Mm -hmm. What have you seen from them in these first three days and just through the offseason? Well, they also have Braxton Croto. And Braxton. Yeah. Uh, all three of those guys uh, are, are long, athletic guys. Uh, they're all raw right now. Coin's probably the furthest ahead, you know, having, having played, you know, at, at – uh, junior college as well as a, a, another university so he's a little bit more developed um, he's he's gonna definitely figure uh, Oren and uh, uh, Braxton just got here so it's coming at him awful fast you know we had we had the advantage with with coin being here in December he got a couple practices in so he's reacting to things a little bit quicker but but really like the upsides of all those guys is Coin generally going to play inside, or are there some things that you can do? Kind of uh, well, you know, people, the yeah, you know, you see the same things I do, and you know, it's, it's pretty obvious when you have a big, long athlete like that. Uh, he gives you some some opportunities to, to move him around in different spots. Uh, we haven't done it just yet because we're just starting in pads. But you know, I, I remember uh, back in December when we were doing one-on-one -on -one pass rush. He's got you know pretty good natural skill set, so. You know, just like we did with Evan last year. You know, he's an inside linebacker, but on third down, we may have him as one of our edge guys. And I think once Coyne understands the defense, you know, that's probably the next evolution for him is to find different spots and, you know, as a situational player, move him around. You guys excited to get Cam Good back out there? Yeah, he's yeah. He's too. He is. You know, it's the first time, you know, I saw him uh, coming back, and I guess, you know, his mother felt him pretty good on break. <laughs> First time he's been over 2:30, and his face is a little, little, little chubbier, which is good for football players uh, to see. Because uh, the one thing that that uh, I think he was lacking was just having that bulk. And with him being around 2:35 now, I, I think he's really going to start to become a special player. Uh, he's he's a guy that's you know really athletic, and I haven't seen that extra weight slow him down any. So. Uh, it's good to have him out here. We're gonna, you know, limit his reps a little bit, you know, as he's coming back off that that injury. But uh, uh, the one thing we're gonna do now is, is challenge him, even though he's still just a, I guess, a sophomore next year. Uh, he's been around a while, so we're gonna challenge him to be a leader, just like the rest of those guys. But he's doing a good job of that. In all three of uh, the practices that we've got to see, it sounds like there's a ton of communication on the defensive side. Am I reading that right? Are you happy with the way you guys are, are talking out there? Right oh, now? absolutely. I mean, to play good defense, you've got to know what you're doing. You've got to communicate to the guys next to you. Uh, with what offense is doing, our offense does it all the time, you know, with, with shifts and motions. And you've got to be able to communicate checks and, you know, adjustments. So, uh, again, when you have a veteran group coming back, back it's a lot louder. Uh, we talk all the time, you know, volume reflects confidence. You know, the young guys are out there and it's, check, lucky, you know, they, they, you get that from them. Uh, you know, where the veterans are, they're loud and, and uh, we need them to be. And we got to get that other group where they're loud as well. You're still running with uh, Tevin Paul and Chinadu at the outside linebacker position. How are they, uh, it'll be their like, second set of practices doing this. So how are they taken to it? Yeah, uh, much easier now. Yeah. Uh, you know, they were in the room. We install everything with the defensive front, the outside linebackers, and, and, the, and the big guys all together. I don't know how much they were paying attention uh, <laughs> when we were first installing everything, but through osmosis, I'd like to think that they were they are absorbing some things. But but right now, uh, they've done a great job this off season of where we've gone back to basics, and they understand now why we call things a certain way. Where they were just. Okay, because you told me to, Coach. And yeah. so we put things in family so that we can teach things easier. And they're understanding the, the, the principles of all our different coverage responsibilities. They've always been really good pass rushers. And I think they're both those guys in particular are better edge rushers than they are inside rushers. Um, but because of their skill set, they, they give us the flexibility to play outside backer or we can get in our four down stuff and have him be a, a down guy. And he swapped uh, Tevis to being a down liner. Yeah, you know, looking at his skill set, we, we, we think that he's going to continue to get bigger and be a guy who can who can play inside. You mentioned adding some wrinkles to the defense, and a couple of the players mentioned that the other day. Is there anything you can share with us about the types of things you're able to install in a more experienced yeah. defense to, to sort of um, give you that edge? You know, it's, it's, it's really kind of a little bit more technical stuff, but, you know, we're – People nowadays are, are stealing signals. Uh, you know, there's a lot of people that have, you know, not a lot of people. There's some people that have, that have been in our, in our, in our uh, uh, coach's office and know our terminology. So, you know, we're examining that so that, you know, if people see our sidelines, see, you know, video copies of signals and stuff. So we, 
our communication now, I've got to think a little bit more because we've called, you know, we're, it's the same defense, but we're calling things different. Uh, so those types of things are, are, are going on right now and we'll probably change it again in the fall at some point because everyone's trying to get intel on you and, and you got to do a good job of protecting your, your, your state secrets. Disguising coverages and things like that too? Oh, absolutely. You know, if they know what we're going to do, the disguise doesn't really help us. So we've got to, you know, disguise the signal and then obviously you know we do I think it, uh, we've done a better job last year of disguising our coverages and having our guys understand what's the quarterback looking for what picture do we want to show in pre-snap and then where do we have to get to thanks coach all right no worries. Thank you. All right.